Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you can take your local commits and push those commits to origin using Git and GitLab. So right now my GitHub repository is pretty boring. All I've got is a readme file right here. Now, in a previous tutorial, I actually went in here and I cloned that repository by doing a git clone command. You can see it right there. I'm going to cd into that. And you can see, yeah, I've only got one file in here. So why not make this a little bit more interesting? So I'm going to do a little touch and create a file called home.html. Do a little touch and create a file called style.css. Do a little touch and create a file called, I don't know, um, script.js. Does that make sense? And so if I do a little ls file, I've got one, two, three, four files in here. How many are new? Well, git status will tell you that. So it says, hey, you've got uh, three brand new files in this folder and none of them um, have been will be committed because none of them are tracked. And how do you track them? Well, you issue a git add command. And then if you say git status, it says, you know what? These files are now being tracked because you have added them to the index of tracked files. So I've created some files, I've added them to the git index and they are now staged. And I guess the next thing to do is push them, push these up to the, the GitLab repository. Cause I've got these locally, you know, but if I do a refresh over here, you know, there's no new commits and there's only one readme file in the GitLab server. So let's go back in here and what do I need to do? Well, I guess what I need to do is I need to actually just do a, a commit. And then I do a push. Now the problem is this commit won't work. And the reason this commit won't work is because I just installed Git. And after you install Git, you actually have to configure your username and email. So There's me just configuring my email. Me configuring my name. And now if I want to do that commit command, ah, there's no problem. Everything has been committed. But still, those files are not up on GitLab. Not there at all. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is a git, is a git push. So I say git push origin. This is going to take all the changes in my whole commit history that exist locally and then push them to the original repository that I clone. That's the idea behind origin. Now when I do this, it's going to ask for my username and password. The username right now is root and the password is quite unceremoniously password. All of a sudden those files get pushed and if I do a refresh over here, you can see that we now have a new commit called add three files. You're supposed to um, do an active sort of commit messages. So when someone looks at it and they said this particular commit will add three files, it should kind of read like that. And there's my home file. There's my script file. Now, there's nothing. There's nothing in them, um, but you can see that these files have been added. There has been a new commit and all of this content has been pushed to the remote GitLab server. And that's how easy it is to create content, do commits, and push your local changes to your remote GitLab repository. Now to learn more about GitLab, Git, and all things that happen over on the server side, head over to theserverside.com and please follow me on Twitter, Cameron MCNZ.